According to the theory of inflation, the universe emerged from the Big Bang 13.8 billion years ago, and then expanded exponentially fast for a fraction of a second. Widely separated regions today were actually very close together in the early universe. And, as the ever-marching wagon of space-time pushes on, our universe continues to expand. Like it or not, the theory of inflation is our best bet at the moment, to explain the origins of the universe, and the growing distances between cosmic bodies. As a curious species, it is in our DNA to ask the hows, the whens, and the whys. To quench our insatiable thirst for knowledge, we have looked towards the heavens for answers. And the heavens have replied, sometimes clearly, and most often, with just a grain of hint. Taking cues from the hints, we have made several theories, deduced formulas, and constantly revised our understanding of the universe. But we are far from understanding the grand scheme of the universe, and in cosmic timescale, our journey has just begun. To unfold the universe, we need tools, powerful tools. Tools that will help us see far into the depths of the cosmos, shred speculations, and replace them with proof. One such tool, in fact, our grandest cosmic tool till date, is the James Webb Space Telescope. Only months after its launch, Webb has begun to unfold the universe like never before. Welcome to you curious? And today, we will see how astronomers have pushed Webb even deeper back in time than previously thought was possible. Before we proceed with the video, we have received a lot of comments asking how the Webb telescope is able to see back in time. It is quite simple actually. We do it all the time. Light from the sun takes 8 minutes to travel 150 million kilometers before reaching us. So, when you are looking at the sun, you are looking at it, as it was 8 minutes ago. Light from Proxima Centauri, which is 40 trillion, 208 billion kilometers away from Earth, takes approximately 4 years to reach us, from across the expanse of space, so we see it as it was, 4 years ago. The farther the object from Earth, the more time it takes for light to travel to us. Light from the first stars began their journey billions of years ago, hence Webb will see these stars, as they were billions of years ago. Here is a fun fact. If an alien civilization, 65 million light years away, sees Earth through a very powerful telescope, they will see Earth as it was 65 million years ago. As such, they won't see us, but the dinosaurs. Yes, that's how we look back in time when we look at stars. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope has potentially broken records and have spotted the oldest galaxy in the universe, a galaxy that existed when the universe was a mere 300 million years old. A cosmic baby. That's right, the Super Space Telescope, which was responsible for the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the early universe ever taken, only a month ago, has now broken its own record, by capturing a picture of the oldest galaxy in the universe. Scottish astronomers have spied what they believe to be the most distant galaxy ever observed, using Webb. This red smudge is 35 billion light years away. We see it, as it was, just 235 million years after the Big Bang. This galaxy existed when the universe was in the infant stage in the cosmic terms. A team of researchers has analyzed data from the Grissom Lens Amplified Survey from Space, GLASS, which is part of the early scientific work by the Webb Telescope, and spotted one of the oldest galaxies in the universe, GLASS Z11. Notably, while light took over 13 billion years to travel to us, the galaxy is now located close to 33 billion light years away from us, as the universe expands in size at a fast pace. While astronomers are yet to clearly answer when and how the first galaxies formed, GNZ 11 becomes the only galaxy to have been confirmed to exist in the first few hundred million years after the Big Bang, the moment when our universe came to life. The 11 in GNZ 11 signifies the redshifts of the galaxy, which is a measurement of how much the light from these galaxies has been stretched due to the expansion of the universe. The higher redshift indicates the galaxy is farther away from Earth. Scientists now are likely to use the near-infrared spectrograph, NERSPEC, instrument of Webb to find details of the candidate. 
Deep JWST observations may identify relatively bright galaxies too, much earlier epochs than might have been anticipated, said NASA. These will give the clearest view of how the light, which was originally emitted at visible wavelengths, has been stretched into the infrared over the course of cosmic history. The great deal about NERSPEC, or spectroscopy in general, is that it will reveal the composition of objects. Theory says the very first stars were fueled just by hydrogen, helium, and a small amount of lithium, the elements created in the Big Bang. Heavier atoms had to be forged in those pioneer stars and their descendants. As the cloud of cosmic dust and gases from the Big Bang cooled, stars formed, and these then grouped together, to form galaxies. The other 86 elements found in nature, were created in nuclear reactions in these stars, and in huge stellar explosions, known as supernovae. Webb was launched to do a lot of things, and one of them, was to detect chemical compositions of cosmic things, especially exoplanets. And it did so quite effectively. In fact, the analysis of WASP-96b was so thorough, that scientists discovered water on the exoplanet. NASA used the near-infrared imager, and slitless spectrograph, NERS, to dive deep, into the atmosphere makeup of the exoplanet. The discovery of water in an exoplanet's atmosphere with Webb, is just a small testament, to what this space telescope is capable of. Hubble first detected water on an exoplanet back in 2013. However, with Webb's advancements, the telescope is even more capable of detecting water clearly. As Webb digs deeper into exoplanets, there's no telling what scientists will find. We already know, that NASA has a full docket of scientific missions, for Webb to complete over the coming years. One of those missions, will include looking deeper into the black hole, at the center of our galaxy. We've already captured an image of the Milky Way's black hole. But, if we could learn more about it, and other black holes, we could better understand these intriguing galactic entities. And, with Webb able to detect water on an exoplanet, we have a better chance of finding an Earth-like planet, that might support life. Webb has only started its operations, and is already sending us some mind-blowing images, images like never before. For science and astronomy, it is nothing less than a gold mine. We cannot wait for more pictures from Webb. Pictures of the Trappist system, planets in the Alpha Centauri system, and so much more. As they say, shit's about to get real. Webb truly is unfolding our universe like never before. Bo Webb. You wonder machine. What do you guys have to say? Drop in your comments to let us know and don't forget to subscribe to you curious? Discover more. No more.